Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Welcome to my car. I forgot to film the intro for this week's meal prep and I'm heading out right now to show some property. And by the time I get home late tonight, I know I'm gonna forget to film it again. So we're doing it in my car. So if you're excited for today's meal prep, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. I do meal preps every single Monday, so you definitely don't wanna miss out. Check out that description box down below for my recipe website where you will find all three of today's recipes nutrition coaching I do offer personalized macros and calories highly highly recommend having that service done if you haven't already and if you want to chat with me directly or want a little bit more individualized support I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well links discounts to all of my favorite things are down in that description box as well as my Facebook group we would love to have you head on over and join us there as well so let's jump into this this week's summer inspired WW meal prep. breakfast meal prep this week, I am making the best ever Texas French toast casserole. I am going to add some blueberries to mine just to get a little bit of fruit in, but what you're going to need is some Texas toast thick sliced bread. You really could use whatever bread you want. If you want to go with a lower point bread to lower the points of the recipe, you can do that, but I'm going to make it Texas toast style. You'll need some brown sugar alternative. This is the Lakanto. I always have a discount for Lakanto down in the description box, so I'll make sure that that's linked for you. Any type of almond milk, low-fat milk, fat-free milk that you want to use. Salt, vanilla extract, almond extract, cinnamon, and again, I am going to add a little bit of blueberries, some eggs, and some light butter. So the first thing that we're going to do is take one half of a cup of melted butter and add that to a bowl, and then one cup of your brown sugar alternative. Also add that to the bowl and then whisk until combined. Into a greased nine by 13 baking dish, we're going to add that brown sugar and butter mixture to the bottom and spread that out nice and even. In that exact same bowl, I'm going to add one half of a cup of milk, a pinch of salt, one teaspoon of almond extract, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then I'm going to crack in four eggs. And then whisk together until those eggs are incorporated. Now we're going to take our entire loaf of bread, 20 ounces total, and we're going to start laying the pieces out evenly over the bottom of the baking dish. You may have to cut or tear a few pieces so that everything fits. Now we're going to add some of the egg mixture. You want to very carefully add that. You want about one cup of it over the bread. You wanna be really careful not to just dump it on there because it'll all end up at the bottom and you really want it to saturate the bread. So I'm just going to pour and then brush in with my brush here. In a small bowl here, I have two tablespoons of the brown sugar from Lakanto and about a tablespoon of cinnamon and I'm going to mix that together. Most of this is going to go over this first layer of bread. Now we're going to add the next layer or six more slices of our bread. And then we're going to add more of the egg mixture and then brush it nice and even over the tops. Now sprinkle the remaining cinnamon and sugar right over the top. This is where I'm going to add in my blueberries. Now you don't have to add any topping at all to your casserole. You can do that after the fact, or you can do really any fruit that you want, or just have it as is with just the cinnamon and sugar. You can see here that I ended up not using all of the bread. There's still four full slices and the heel left. So I will make sure that I calculate the points with the amount of bread that I used, but I'm going to cover this with foil. Best if you could chill this overnight to really let that egg mixture absorb into the bread, but I'm going to let it chill for several hours while I do the rest of my meal prep. Five hours later. 
So I'm getting ready to go ahead and put that French toast casserole in the oven. You can see that a lot of the egg has soaked in. So we're gonna leave the foil on and it's going to go in at 350 for about 45 minutes. Here is the Texas toast casserole. Doesn't this look so good? So this recipe actually makes 20 servings, but I think you could double the serving because it's only three points on blue and purple and four on the green when cut into 20 servings. So if you cut this into 10, you would only be six points blue and purple and eight on green. So that's what I'm planning on doing and then pairing this with some eggs or some additional fruit. But this looks incredible and I can't wait to have it all week. is this week I'm making deviled egg pasta salad. I'll probably have this with some zero point protein, fish or chicken, but I'm really excited for this. The weather has been really nice here, so it's giving me those summer vibes and pasta salad sounds amazing. So I don't know if you can see back there, but I have some eggs boiling in my instant pot. And what else you're going to need for this recipe is some pasta. So of course I'm using the Fibre Gourmet pasta. You guys know this is my all time favorite pasta. It is only two points for two ounces dry versus five to six points of regular pasta. So it's a great way to save points, but not to mention that it's only 100 calories versus 210. It has 25 grams of fiber versus two, 17 net carbs versus 41, and it also has seven grams of protein. So I just really like it because it tastes good. The texture is really good. A lot of you said that this is your favorite pasta as well, and it's just a great way to not only save points, but save calories and get in some extra fiber in your pasta. So we're using eight ounces or one package of the elbows. I will link Nutrition down below. That's where I buy my fiber gourmet. It's the least expensive and they have the biggest selection. You're also going to need some non-fat Greek yogurt, light mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, celery, fresh chives, smoked paprika, salt, and a red onion. of the ice bath. We're going to peel them. We're going to dice them in half, remove the yolks, add them to a separate bowl, and then go ahead and dice up your egg whites. And those will actually get added to the large bowl for the pasta salad. So I went ahead and added the drained and rinsed macaroni to the egg mixture here in the large bowl. We're going to mash up the yolks with a fork. And then we're going to add those to the same bowl as the onions and celery. We're going to add one quarter cup of light mayonnaise, one half of a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt, and one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And then go ahead and mix that together until everything is mixed. You wanna make sure all of the mayonnaise and Greek yogurt coats all of the egg yolks and onion and celery. Then we're going to add the egg yolk mixture into the noodles and the egg whites. And then stir that and mix very well. I'm also going to add a little bit of smoked paprika, kind of like you would on a deviled egg, some additional salt and pepper. We're now going to just top it with those fresh chives. And there is our deviled egg pasta salad. This looks so incredibly delicious. How perfect is this for summer? barbecues, get togethers, or in my case for a lunch meal prep. I'm pretty excited for this all week. This entire bowl makes eight servings. Each serving is only two points on the blue and purple plan and four on green just because you do have to account for the eggs, but I can't wait to have this all week. That's going to be just a great serving size for only two to four smart points. treat this week or dessert, I'm making pineapple cake. Again, we are all about the summer type of recipes today. So what you're going to need for this cake is some all-purpose flour, any type of low-fat or nut-based milk, baking powder, baking soda, a can of pineapple slices in juice, salt, 
eggs, and then sweetener of your choice. I'm just using the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. Again, Lakanto is linked down below for you. Into a bowl, I went ahead and added half of a cup of light butter. I think I forgot to mention that. There isn't a meal prep that goes by that I don't forget to mention something, but you do need half of a cup of light butter, one cup of sugar alternative, and then we're going to gently beat that together until mixed. Now we're going to crack in two eggs and then beat that in as well. Into a separate bowl, a little bit larger than the one we did for the egg mixture, we're going to add one and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of baking soda, and about a quarter teaspoon or a pinch of salt. Give that a good mix. You wanna make sure that everything that's a dry ingredient gets mixed together really well. Now we're going to take that egg mixture and add that in with the dry ingredients. Start mixing that together and then we're gradually going to stir in one half of a cup of whatever milk you're using. Once that is mixed together, you're going to take four of your pineapple rings and just cut them into about half of an inch pieces and add them to the batter. And then gently fold those pineapple pieces into the batter. I went ahead and sprayed and lightly floured my Bundt cake pan. Now it is optional, but you can go ahead and add the remaining pineapple rings to the bottom of your Bundt pan. I think I'm going to do that. You could also add some cherries if you wanted to. It does say to go ahead and cut them up. So I'm just going to tear them into four pieces and just kind of lay them in the bottom of the Bundt pan. Now we're going to add in the batter right over the top of the pineapple slices and just try to even it out the best that you can in your pan. All right, my cake is going in the oven at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes or until you can insert a toothpick and it comes out clean. I just pulled the pineapple cake out of the oven. Doesn't this look so good? I'm going to let it cool until it's almost completely cooled and then we're going to make a pineapple glaze to top our cake. For the glaze for the pineapple cake, we're going to add one half of a cup of the juice from the can of pineapple rings and one quarter cup of sugar alternative. And then we're going to allow this to come to a boil and make a simple syrup. We're then going to take that pineapple glaze and pour it right over the top of our cake. I did go ahead and put my cake down on some saran wrap just so that it wouldn't get all over the board. There is our pineapple cake. Doesn't this look so good? That simple syrup will just melt into the cake so it'll be nice and moist and flavorful. So let's go over the points and I'll put the calories here on the screen for the cake. So this entire cake makes only eight servings and it is only four points per serving. That is incredible for a piece of summer deliciousness cake. So this recipe with all of the others from today's video will be on my website. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Meal Prep. I hope you are as excited as I am about these summer vibe recipes. I will tell you that I have tried all of them and they are in incredible. My husband loves the French toast casserole, loves the pasta salad. He has not tried the pineapple cake yet, but I have, and it is incredible. So again, all of today's recipes are recipe website, which is linked down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course, my Facebook group. We'd love to have you join us over there as well. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And of course, if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that little subscribe button and click the bell next to it. That way you never miss an upload. Happy Monday, friends, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!